government kill me yet allah chairman in kaduna state yeah i'm very sure um, by now the meeting allah cattle breeder association must have tasted how it feels to lose their loved ones just like the same way the fulani headsmen are attacking innocent people they have caused clashes between farmers the villagers they have kidnapped they have raped innocent people this shouldn't be a new team to them which implies that um, God Almighty is watching their evil deeds against humanity. Now, the news in details. The chairman of the Meeti Allah Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria, a level local government area of Kaduna State, Abubakar Abdullah, has been killed by unknown government. Spokesman of the Kaduna State chapter of the association, Ibrahim Bayero, confirmed the incident in a telephone interview on Friday in Kaduna State. He said, the assailants invaded Abdullah's house in Lewe, Lewe local government area of Kaduna State, in the early hours of Friday. According to him, the bandits demanded for 20 million from the deceased, who told them that he didn't have that kind of money. Bayeru said the government took the Mayati Allah chairman to Bochas to raise some money and he was able to raise 250000 He said, after they collected the money, they took him to the highway, killed him and dumped his corpse by the roadside. Bayero added that the disturbing act may have been committed by hired assassins. Yes, our chairman was killed in the early hours on Friday. He was killed at his residence in Levertown, Level local government area of Kaduna State. They came and picked him in his house they demanded for 20 million. He told them that he doesn't have it. They took him around to butchers to borrow money and give them. He raised up to 250,000 and gave them. They collected the money and took him to the Zanko Highway. They killed him and left his corpse by the road. It is very bad. That area has been very peaceful. There is nothing of these killings in Lewe. We are suspecting that hired assassins killed him Bayero said all right guys um that is it for the news now here is my opinion yeah my people uh the Bayeti Allah chairman that was kidnapped in Kaduna state by unknown government shows that no one is safe anymore despite the fact that um these people the Bayeti Allah Association have committed so many atrocities and the Nigerian government watched them without doing anything that is why we see that most of the Satan governors had passed the grazing law bill in order to stop the movement of cattle in the southern region. To also stop their evil activities, the evil deeds of the Fulani elders. Because without that, more attacks will keep coming against innocent people. Alright guys, um, that is it for the news. Stay tuned while I share you some other updates. Court orders Buhari's government to pay Sunday Igoho $20 billion. Yeah, starting from our um, Sunday Igoho's house was raided by the Department of State Service, the DSS, with no arrest warrant, very unlawful by the Nigerian government, just because they have so much hatred for him due to his agitations. Now, the news in details. An Oyo High Court on Friday granted a relief sold by Yoba Nation activists, Sunday Adeyemo, popularly known as Sunday Igoho, and ordered the Nigerian government to pay him $20 billion. The court also dismissed an application filed by the Attorney General of Federation, Abubakar Malami, challenging its jurisdiction to hear allegations against Nigerian government agencies. The court was expected to deliver judgment or ruling on the 500 billion fundamental human rights case instituted by the Yoruba Nation activist Sunday Adeyemo, popularly known as Sunday Goho, against the Nigerian government and the Department of State Services, the DSS. Sunday ago, to his lawyer, Yomi Aliu, filed a suit challenging the invasion of his house in Ibadan on July 1st by operatives of the DSS, also known as the State Security Service, SSS, or Secret Police. Sunday ago is among others seeking an order of the court to declare the invasion of his residence by the DSS operatives as illegal an infringement on its fundamental human rights. The three respondents are Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Abubakar Malamin (SAN) as the first respondent, the SSS as the second respondent, and the Director of SSS in Oyo State as the third respondent. 
counsel for the Anthony General Federation, Abubakar Abdullah, had filed an application challenging the ability of the state high court to hear the activities of Nigerian government agencies. But citing several judgments by the Supreme and Appeal Court in respect of the ability of the state high court to hear such cases, Justice Ladimo Akintola said the evasion of the house of the applicant violated its fundamental human rights as stipulated in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999 as amended. Unfortunately, this court is not a Father Christmas and cannot award the sum of 500 billion as requested by the applicant, but the court retrained the respondent from arresting or harassing the applicant. He has right to his free movement as contained in section 3.1 a and b of the 1999 constitution as amended all right guys i'm that is it for the news now here is my opinion here yeah, my people we know very well that um the nigerian government have been taking laws into their hands for a very very long time when the constitution the human rights law is no longer effective now on the issue of uh, the department of state services invading sunday ego south it has shown that um it was never right for the DSS to take laws into their hand. And the truth of the matter is that um, the Nigerian government has failed Nigerians over Sunday goals issues and its fundamental rights as a citizen has been violated. Now let's see if the money will be paid eventually to Sunday ago because in a situation when you see people they try to win the government, the government always try to implicate them. That is why you see that um, the Nigerian government have put Sunday ago behind the bars. And the truth of the matter is that our self-determination and agitations is part of human rights. But it does not work in a country like Nigeria. That is why Nigeria, Nigerian government are never in support of all these agitations going on everywhere and there. And you know that Professor Walesho Inka has already said it that Sonny Go is not a terrorist or a criminal. Everything is just based on how the Nigerian government are handling the people fighting to build their home and so many things have been happening um, and the citizens and other nigerian personalities have been reacting against the way the nigerian government are harassing all these separatists who are agitating in as much as all is done in a peaceful manner i don't think they need to be criminalized due to the human rights law every citizens have all right guys and um, we have come to the end of the news um kindly share your thoughts on the comment section below regarding to the unknown government that killed the Mayeti Allah chairman in Kaduna state despite the atrocities the Fulani headsmen have committed. And do you think um, Sunday Ego could be given the 20 billion the court mentioned despite the fact that the Nigerian government have always taken laws into their hands. Alright guys, um, that is it for you all. I want to thank you for your support on this channel. It's not taken for granted. And please don't forget to subscribe like and share and you can as well subscribe to our other youtube channel for more news updates at jesus loves you channel and glee info see you next time till i come your way bye bye bye